Hi everyone and welcome to this trail training video. In this video we're going to cover what happens once a client completes their fact find and we need to send their mortgage application to the bank. As soon as a client completes their mortgage fact find online you'll receive a notification about it depending on what your settings are. So you might receive a notification up here in the bell icon or even an email notification or a browser notification which will pop up at the bottom right of your screen. You'll also notice from your pipeline that the client opportunity tile will have moved from the new lead stage to the fact find completed stage and they will now have a new activity which is represented by the green bar. If we have a look at that activity we'll see that it's a review application review activity so we need to go and have a look at the fact find answers and see if the application is ready to send to the bank. What we'll do from here is we'll go straight into the client's application. So the first page that we get taken to when we are completing the application is the opportunity summary page. This page is just for your own personal information. It won't get sent to the lender and it doesn't get shown to the client. So it's just for you to look at and your teammates as well. You'll notice that there's a lot of different information contained on this page, including things such as expected settlement um, date, pre-approval expiry date, and also the GCTP. So the goal, challenges, plan, and timing of the application. So that's just really good for you to know or for your teammates to know. You'll see here that the rest of the application is split into two sections, the fact find section and the application section. So the fact find sections represent the client's current statement of position. So all of the answers that they put in their fact find will appear in these sections here. The application section will tell the lender how the client's situation is going to change moving forward. You'll notice at the bottom of the page here we've got this green download to submit application button but we actually can't click it at the moment and it says because not all of the sections have been marked as complete. So to download this application we'll need to tick off all of these sections to say yes we've checked them and they're ready to send to the lender. So at any time you can go in and you can check the client's fact find details. If there's anything that's incorrect, you can make changes to it, maybe if they put down the wrong phone number. And you can update anything based on the supporting documents or further conversations with the client. If there's any information missing, for example, maybe if we said that we were going to add in some rent and we didn't put in the values of frequency and we ticked, tried to tick off the section, then the software will say please fill in all required fields and let us know what is still required. So it just means that there's never going to be any information missing from your application. So for any of these sections you can go in and edit the information, update it, add new assets, delete assets, that sort of thing and you can do that with all of the sections. So what we'll do is we'll just go through and we'll just tick all of these off and just say yep we've checked them all, we know that they're correct. Now we get to the application section. So first of all, we'll go into the funding details and you'll see here that firstly we get asked to select the target bank for the application. As soon as we do that, then we'll be asked further questions about the application. Firstly, we'll want to select the applicants for this application and we'll say yes, it's Simon and Michelle who are purchasing the property. And we've got up here that it's a new purchase, so that's perfect. Next is the funding required. So here we get asked about why we actually need the funding. So since we've selected a new purchase up here, then that's the only section that will appear. However, if we had selected refinance and top up as well, then there would also be sections in here. So for the new purchase, the property that we're going to purchase is this to be decided one. And you can see automatically that everything's beginning to calculate here. Next, we'll have the cash and equivalents. So this is where we say to the lender how much is going to be used as deposit and where it's coming from. So you can see to the right here that we've got the total cash and the total KiwiSaver, which is pulled through from the assets page. If you want to use the whole amount, then you can simply press this blue button and that will bring the whole amount to be included in the application. If the client isn't going to be using the whole amount, then you can just type over this instead. So we might say for their KiwiSaver, we'll use 40,000 of it. So you can see here that now we know that we have $120,000 to be used as the deposit. So the new total lending required is 380,000. So in this next section here, 
we'll decide which properties BNZ will take as security. So it's going to be that to be decided property. And we can see that we've got a really nice LVR here of 76%. Finally, we'll have to select the loan structure and servicing. So at this stage of the application, we're not going to know exactly what the client's loan structure is going to be because we haven't received any rates from the bank. However, this section is really good to inform the bank of if your client has told you that they're looking to put some on offset or revolving credit, or if they want to have a mix of fixed and floating. So what we'll do here for simplicity is when we add a servicing structure, we'll just put the whole amount on fixed just to make it a bit quicker. You'll see here that the servicing interest rate for BNZ has been pulled through. So we update that automatically so you don't have to worry about putting that in yourself. From here, you'll see that you do have the option to download the BNZ calculator. And what Trail will do is based on the client's fact find answers, uh, it will pre-populate the calculator so you don't have to enter in all the details onto that yourself. So once we're finished with the funding details, we can tick that off and we can go into the note section. So on Trail, there's four different sections for your diary notes. There's the purpose, client background and character, recommendations, and additional information. Here you can just write a bit more about the client's situation, what they're looking to achieve and who they are so the bank knows a bit more about them. So we'll just say that we've written some notes here and we can tick the section off. Finally, we have the documents section, which is where you select all of the supporting documents that are going to be attached in the application. Trail will automatically order your documents in the way that we think that the bank would like to see them. Though it's really easy to reorder them if you would like to put maybe your pay slips first and your declaration at the bottom. Who knows? And it's also really easy to deselect anything that you don't want included in the application just by ticking this tick box here. You can also preview all the documents as well to make sure that they are the correct documents. From here, once we've finished this, we can tick this section off and you'll notice that we are now able to download and submit the application. Once we click this button here, then what it will say is a little bit of an overview about their situation, what they're looking to do, and all you have to do is click to download the application. What's going to be downloaded is this little zip file here, and what it will contain is the PDF application and also the bank calculator. All you have to do is put that together in an email and send it to your contact at the bank. So once you've sent that off, then all you want to do is go back into your pipeline, move Simon across to say, yes, we've submitted his application and we'll go into his activity, select, yes, this has been completed. And then maybe we'll want to create another activity for a bank follow-up and we'll say, have they assessed his application? And we might set that for a week's time. All right, everyone, so thanks for watching this video about how to submit a mortgage application to the bank. Uh, I hope that you found it really useful. And if you do have any other questions about this or any of our other training videos, then be sure to use this little chat button in the bottom right corner. You can click on it and then you can search for an article. We've got heaps of articles that are really helpful, or you can even start a new conversation and just send us a message. We usually apply in about 20 minutes or so. You can also get in touch with us by emailing us at support at gettrail.com and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching and we'll see you for the next training video.